My presentation is to identify some strategic changes that we need if we are to halve street and gender-based violence before 2030. We cannot go on doing the same thing. There are three key things that we must get investment for. One is we have to train the human capacity, the skilled planners in the science of proven prevention. We need to promote the guidelines to tailor implementation of proven solutions. And we need to make the case to expand sustained investment in proven prevention. In 2019, I published a book on science and secrets of ending violent crime. This book basically sets out three bits of information. The first is important. We, there's consensus on many proven ways to prevent violence. Consensus comes from... <laughs> an encyclopedic analysis of what works from uh, sources such as uh, the World Health Organization and the US Department of Justice. But this information, it, it, this shows that prevention focused on most those most at risk, in many cases has got a 50% reduction in violence within three years. Secondly, it shows there's a consensus among the UN offices from decisions at ECOSOC on guidelines on how to uh, apply those proven solutions. And also, this is reflected in what the successful cities have done, uh, like uh, Bogota or, um, or, 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 or Glasgow. Those guidelines uh, focus on the need to have officials and practitioners who are trained in the science and also knowledgeable on the governance of the ways to implement those solutions. The key part is often as a office for the prevention of violence. The third it points out are the secrets of expanding sustained investment in proven solutions. And much of this is 
making the case for the shift from reaction and punishment to uh, making the case for saving lives, stopping trauma, and importantly, increasing GDP. If you reduce violence in countries like Mexico, you will increase GDP by several percentage points. We developed a, um, a, a community safety, a community monitoring tool to reflect these three areas. Uh, this one is on uh, ways to uh, on identifying those proven programs. It doesn't, uh, the book goes into uh, details, but for instance, engaging uh, with the young males who are um, the, the small group who are involved in both offending and uh, vic being victims in disadvantaged areas uh, has been shown to be very successful, as have um, efforts to reach those males in hospital emergency rooms. It also talks about strengthening anti-violence norms, so cognitive behavior, and also, uh, it, it, yeah. Um, point six points out that we have to avoid solutions that have been proven ineffective. There is also a role for, for policing, particularly uh, diverting uh, persons who they uh, would otherwise arrest to um, programs in the community, those uh, proven programs that are um, upstream. And there are other actions like uh, problem-oriented policing. A second uh, safety monitor tool are, are the guidelines themselves. And uh, I think the key in those is having an office for violence prevention and doing the process of diagnosing the uh, problems. This is very much part of the, uh, of the uh, guidelines. A third safety monitor tool is the importance of raising awareness and gaining support. And this is really about the uh, actions that uh, companies do to sell their products. And we're in the e-marketing age, but there are also uh, actions like preparing uh, short briefs for uh, people, uh, for decision makers on the science and the, uh, and, and the guidelines. Another one, uh, item five, that I think is important in many countries, the way to get transition to what works is through task forces or um, committees. So uh, back to the bottom line, um, we need change. And the change can be brought about by accelerators. And my three accelerators are train the practitioners who uh, must develop the plans and programs in governments and in cities. And we have to train them in the science uh, of proven prevention. We need to promote the guidelines on how to uh, get these proven solutions to scale enough to actually reduce uh, violence. And we need to make the case. Thank you.